we will discuss about the connected components in this lecture and uh, connected components means we have uh, let's say we have a given a graph and this is let's say a graph and this also is a part of the same graph so a b c d e f g and you can see that the, the, the in the same graph in the set of vertices we have a b c d e f g but here we have two connected components one of the connected component is uh, a b c d and another connected component is e f and g so given a graph suppose this is the graph and uh, we have to find out what are the different connected components in the graph so for finding out the different connected components we can uh, you can recall the process uh, in the kruskal method we have where we have used the data structure for design sets same we'll be using here we'll be making the different sets a b c d e f g h and i so we are calling the make set operation and we are making as many uh, sets as the number of vertices now for each of the edge and the edges of the graph let's say we have selected a bd edge the first edge bd edge we have selected and we just find out if b and d are in the same set b is in different set d is in the different set so let us unite these two sets take another edge which is ag a is in the different set and g is in the different set so let us unite this ag fine so you know it well that uh, when we are uh, uniting the sets then the original sets are deleted or destroyed so we now remain with sets g was also here now we'll take hi you see that h h is in the different set and i is in the different set so what we'll do we will unite these two sets so ag bd c e f and hi when you are making a union of these two sets the original sets h and i will be deleted the next edge is ab so these two will be combined ab dg c is a different set e is a different set f is a different set h i is a different set next what next edge is ef fine so ef for the ef edge these two sets will be combined or we will be making a union of these two sets then the edges bc so b c in two different sets we'll be doing the union of these two a b c d g then e f and then h i fine so we have taken all the edges and now we are remaining with three sets so these three sets are actually telling us that there are three connected components in the graph first connected component is this one connected second connected component is this one and third connected component is this one diagrammatically or graphically also you can see this let's say the vertices are a b c d and g somewhere for the first connected component and then e then f h and i so for the edge bd let's connect the bd edge a g h let's connect a g h h i h a b h e f h 
in BCH. So you can see that this part is different, this part is different and this part is different. So we have three different connected component in this graph. So connected con component can be found simply by taking up these edges or earlier we have formed the different sets A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H and I and uh, then for every edge we are performing the union operation if the endpoints of the graph in endpoints of the edges are in the same uh, in the different sets if the same question if let's say we have uh, uh, an edge A to C so if we perform the uh, operations for this you will see that endpoints A and C are in the same set so again union is not required we have already done the union so this edge AC will just be added in this uh, connected component obviously but uh, mathematically or in the algorithm there is no requirement of uh, performing the union again because union was already there so these are the connected component of the given graph it's a very simple operation just by making the union we will be able to find out the connected component as many sets are remaining in the end is the number of connected components. Thank you.